4K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And the player introductions are wrapped up. The starting fives for both teams. Yes, we're just about ready to get this one started. It's an NBA afternoon game here on this Thursday. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan. And joining us tonight, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burton. And now the Golden State Warriors start. The championship core of the Warriors is out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green working at power forward. Wiggins is out there with Kevon Rooney. And for the Hornets. In at the guard spots, Ball and Rozier. Williams is out there with Washington. And it's Miller in at the small forward spot. You know, with all the talent in these two bad courts, Doris, this should be a very exciting matchup. And you know, Kev, it feels like we could say that for most matchups these days, right? The league is so heavily laden with talent at the guard position. I feel spoiled. Here's Rozier. 11 feet out, and he hits it. How about that triple drive move from Terry Rozier? That handle is tight, folks. Curry kicks it to Looney. Back to Curry. Green against Washington. Outside, Green. Shot clock at five. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Gets it to go from beyond the arm. I think you pay the consequences if you leave Draymond Green's teammates open. He has a knack for getting the basketball where it needs to be. It's stolen by Green. Outside curve. The shot, no good. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. The score. Warriors ahead, up by one. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. Second quarter, fairly close game so far. And from what we've seen so far from the Warriors, how would you rate it? They just came into this game with the mindset of sharing the basketball. When you keep everyone involved at the offensive end, it keeps everyone engaged in other areas as well. The guard and off guard are Ball and Martin. Up in the forward spots, it's Hayward and Bridget. And it's Richards in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the group out there for Charlotte. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Got that one up quick. Well, you can see the work that Miles Bridges has put into that jumper. He is now accurate even in the face of good defense. Here's Paul. Pass to Kaminga. Off target with his three. Martin against Peyton. Martin dishes the ball. From outside the arc. And a close game so far for the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Hornets lead by one. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Alongside Steve Kerr and Coach, what is the offensive approach going to be in the second half? Well, we just have to do what we do, move the ball uh, and wear them down with our ball movement, our cutting, and our spacing. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. The first quarter for the Hornets was fairly even. Some good action during the period, as it was just a one-point game at the end of one. And so far, they're out in front, but not by much as we head into the half. Kenny, your thoughts on the Hornets' first half? They came in prepared. The offense is firing on all cylinders. You love the patience, the flow. Very efficient. Valuing possessions is fueling their success right now. This is not a team you want to bet against. At least not tonight. 
Shaq, what are your thoughts on Golden State? Right now, they're playing well only on one end of the court. All the energy has been spent on the offensive end. And that's a shame. We're just going to keep giving up easy buckets and the game's going to get away from them. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Warriors. It's a one-point game, setting the floor for the Warriors. The championship floor of the Warriors is out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green working at power forward. Looney out there with Andrew Wiggins. And he misses his first shot of the game. Right thing there to stay that tight on the end and really try to keep them out of this comfort zone. Ogier the bash to Williams. Here's Miller. Warriors with the rebound. Outside Green. Curry against Washington. Now Curry. Just five to shoot. Shoots over Washington. Oh, oh and it's sent back by Washington. Boy, not on the same page there. Possession ball game. That's a big mistake. Substitution on the court. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. With the when it's score. on top, they lead by one. We'll be back shortly live four. from Spectrum Center. One warrior. Three. Okay, fans. And with these it's teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up to the Charlotte Hornets. They lead by one. And at the guard spots, Ball and Rozier. Up in the forward spots, it's Hayward and Bridget. And it's Richards in at the five spot. So that's the one that's five. And that one sends the bench into a frenzy. I'll tell you, these guys have worked so hard together. Everyone pulling in the same direction. Beautiful to watch. Here's what Charlotte's going with right now. P.J. Washington, he's checked in for Miles Bridges. And Miller is subbed in for Gordon Hayward. Nick Green, he's checked Richards. in for the Warriors. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Williams is checked in for the Hornets. And now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. They got a well steep hurt on this team during the last time out. They begged his players to keep it simple out there. I told him one possession at a time. Don't look at the scoreboard. What's most important is running our plays and being aggressive defensively. Let's see if they can follow that game plan. Guys? Thank you, David. Stolen by Washington. And now we have the intentional foul. Andrew Wiggins. First personal foul. Second team foul. At the line. For your Hornets, Mullow, four. First free throw is good, and that puts them up by five. 
LaMelo Ball, a guy who is so unique in terms of his frame and the game, but boy, the potential is limitless. Peyton, he's checked in for the Warriors. And so he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. Well, you like when a guy calmly steps up, knocks down the free throws, exactly what you want. Timeout now a timeout called by Golden State. They're down by six. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. That's right, Ben. Here are your honeybees. Tried to get physical with them down low tonight, and, and it really backfired. Instead, he's just pumping them up. He was aggressive, inviting the contact, and really just taking it straight to him. Golden State moving the ball around, and so they choose to Draymond Green. First personal foul, and the third team foul. At the line for Charlotte. Not Mello. Ball. He gets the first, that makes it a seven point lead. Second one is good. Putting both at the line. It's an eight-point game. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Murray finds Peyton. Puts up a deep three. Rebound by Williams. Ball surveying the defense. So it's the Hornets. 